Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, I am going to walk you through the process of installing and setting up Laravel with Docker on your Mac OS machine. Laravel is a powerful web application framework and Docker is a tool that allows us to easily manage and run application in isolated container. So let's dive in and get started. Before we begin, let's quickly discuss what Laravel and Docker are. Laravel is a web application framework known for its elegant syntax and powerful features while docker is a tool that allows us to run applications in isolated containers making it easy to manage dependencies and environments the first thing you will need to do is install docker desktop on your mac os machine docker desktop provides a user-friendly interface to manage containers you can download it easily from the official docker website i already have installed it in my computer and it is running you can see there is an icon on my computer if you open it this is a ui that will appear if docker is working next to create a new laravel project using docker we will use a tool called laravel sale sale is a built-in solution that simplifies running laravel application with docker so open your terminal terminal and execute this command curl minus s https laravel dot build slash example dash app and bash press enter you should replace the example dash app with your desired project name this command will set up a new laravel project with the docker using the laravel sale okay so it took a lot of time to install this finally it is installed and you can see that the all of the progress here so after the project has been created we need to navigate to the application directory using the terminal or if you are already in the vs code you can directly open it in this way you can see that we have a lot of files there so yeah let me open that folder and open it in the vs code directly so i will close the other vs code now start the laravel sale using the using this command that i'm going to type here in the terminal dot slash vendor slash bin slash sale up press enter so it looks like that this port is being used already by some other software in my computer so for that i will go to the docker compose and there we need to replace the port with a different one for example this is about one zero two five so i would replace it with the 26 and let's try it again open the terminal and run it this time it did not crash and it is going smooth so let's see so i think uh, the server is ready and working as it is saying that yeah services are running so this is the mail pit service that is running on this port okay so now let's try to open this port uh, ip in the browser and you can see that laravel is running in my browser you can also access it by using localhost as well so as you can see that that command that i ran in the terminal this command will start the docker containers for your laravel application including php mysql and redis that you can see here for example let me show you here so these are all of the services that were created we have mysql redis mail search mail pit selenium so all of these uh, are provisioned automatically because of this docker compose now we will try to make some changes and let's see if uh, we can make it and see the updates so i'm going to search so here i will add something else hello world save it and reload it you can see that i made a change and now i can preview it i just had to reload it let me try it once again 
you again have to click on the reload button and it will work congratulations you have successfully installed and set up laravel with docker on your mac os machine now you are ready to start building amazing web applications using the laravel framework that's it for this tutorial i hope you found it helpful in getting started with laravel and docker on mac os if you have any questions or run into any issues then feel free to leave a comment below don't forget to like subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on web development, programming and technology. Thanks for watching and happy coding.